Hello guys, in this tutorial we're going to learn the advanced form of applying blur to different visual elements that makes up your composition. So this is a snippet of what we will be doing and then here are the two different images but then the results will be in the video description for you to download. Alright, so let's get into it. So this is more or less our background. So all I need to do now is to drag this image here. So both images were downloaded. So both the PNG and the JPEG, this PNG you can see it came with a, a background. Okay. But then even if it comes with background, you know what to do. We've treated that in a couple of videos, how to use the pen to all the options to remove your subject from the background. So I'm just going to position this around here. So we have a couple of work to do. You can see we need to blend this with this image okay before we're going to apply the blow so let's do that quickly so I'll position it right about here is fine so all I need to do now is to convert to smart objects convert to smart objects this as well just okay let's let's okay let's just convert it to smart object okay so this is the motorcycle now we're going to come over here and then we're going to apply curves okay so now that we've applied curves we need to adjust some settings here before you see the visible change okay when i drag here you can see the changes are starting to happen so I'll just undo what I did so now I will need to clip this because I want this effect to affect just the motorcycle we don't want it to affect the background because we're trying to blend the motorcycle with the background all right so you can zoom closer to see so I'm actually using the control on the keyboard as well as the scroll wheel to go to the left or to the right then you can use your alt to zoom out and in okay so now that we are here so i could see the changes visibly so we are currently on rgb so i'm going to make some changes here so i'll just make a point around here just drag it down okay so I'll make a point around here so you may ask me how is it that I know the particular um, point click on this part okay no now this is more or less a trial and error because I'm actually looking at this to to see if we are getting the right result if we are not such as this I'll bring it down make some adjustments as you can see okay so we're going to the red and then we'll make slight adjustment here I think I'll need to bump the red up a bit okay so something like so okay I'm going to bring it down not that much okay it won't go beyond this line be bef because if it goes we're going to have an issue so we'll go to the green so all this um, working on them to just get the exact color that sort of blend with the background okay so that's what we are doing so remember the rgb that we first um, make adjustment to was actually the general or the master okay so the red green and blue those are just your primary colors okay let's bring this bring this down somewhere like so okay so this is fine so you can see we are making ton of progress with just the curves okay so the next adjustment 
and we're going to uh, adjustment layer we're going to add is the photo filter so this is the photo filter okay so now let me show you something quickly and i think i will say this before when i click on this and i want to pick any color around here you notice the color doesn't change it's just within this and if i come to the color picker as well to say i want to change color you can see that i'm have still having issues all right so the problem now is because you have this selected you have the max selected you don't have the thumbnail of the adjustment layer selected so you need to have this selected or this depending on what um, changes you want to make all right so i'm going to select this come over here and then i'm going to pick um something like so okay let's still try more i need something dark okay not okay so something like this is fine okay so we're going to clip it as well then we're going to come around here so we're going to drag to see the changes okay so you can see it like so so we're going to drag it about here is fine so for that let's see the before and after before and after there is no there's no more change okay so the last adjustment we're going to add is the hue saturation so for the hue saturation we just change the blend mode to to to, to color born so we're going to clip this as well create a clipping mask we're going to bring down the feel this much 17 18 12 okay so we're going to try the blend if let's try to blend it with the blend if so i'm just coming to pick this this way okay so i'm going to break break it apart by holding down alt so now we have broken it down okay so let's see okay so i like the result so far i guess i'll bring this down a bit about eight is fine okay so you can see we're able to blend the the bike with the background so let's see the before so i've turned this off turn this off now you can see the before and then this is the after so we did a good job great okay so we will start applying our blur so we're going to start with the background so the first thing you should always do which we have done already is to convert for smart convert to smart for smart filters which we have done already so we're going to come over here and then I'm going to select the part blow. Great. So this is the part blow. Now the the plot the part blow it's very interesting because let me undo. Now you can see I'm going to follow trail this part like this. So I'm going to just drag this I'm going to just drag this this way this is great then i'll position this around here position this this way and then i'm going to position this we're actually trying to follow the part that or the direction the car is following okay so we're going to go that way then we we'll drag this somewhere like so okay so 
you can see it's not that difficult okay so I'm going to bend it slightly bend it slightly then um, I'll just drag this up a bit like so okay so if you're having issues or if your system is lagging you can turn off the preview all right so this is what I mean you can see the part is actually coming from that direction this way okay then it came over this way you can see it's something like this then let me add another like so okay so let's go let's go this way okay so we just go that way you can turn it back on okay so you can see this is quite interesting but then it is quite much okay so now the next thing we're going to do it's um we're going to look at this functionality around here and now the first on our list is the the tapper now what this does is this um, sometimes the blur effect will leave something more or less like fringes around the edge of your image so the tapper will help to fix it let's make an adjustment on the tapper so you get to understand it better you can see around just focus your attention around here and around here you can see it's clearing a lot of things off so it makes it to look a lot natural okay you can see we're going to increase it around here as well good okay you can see we have taken care of a lot of things here so here is not as blow as what we have here so it has helped to clear it off so around here as well we're going to click this point just like we did here let's drag this this way okay so I'm I feel this is quite much so I'm going to turn it this way okay you can see we're able to blend it so I've turned it that way so I think it's better off okay so I'm going to make adjustment to the topper okay so something like that so you can play around with these options but then I feel this adjustment we've made here is um, good enough so I'm going to, to zoom out okay so let's see okay before we, we do that let me increase the speed this much okay so I'm going to click on OK this time around okay so it has finished loading all right so you can see the result so this is good okay so the next thing we're going to do it's to apply the blow to to this to to this motorcycle so the before we do that let me just turn this off quickly now I'm going to make a selection around here just for the mod to cover the motorcycle so that's what we ju would just do around there so I'm going to select the lasso tool I'll just come over here okay sorry select the lasso tool make a selection around here like so okay so that's fine so I'll just press ctrl G okay so now that we've done that we can turn back our blow. ok 
okay so I'll just drag this up good okay so something like this is fine so we're going to apply another blur to it as well so we're going to apply the part blur oh good so you can drag this down if you want drag this down this way okay we're going to drag this down okay so that's all we need to do so succeeded in applying the blur to this as well so you can see the result all right so now we're going to apply some blur to this okay so let's go ahead and do that so all I need to do here I'm going to add sorry just come over here and then I'm going to apply the the spin blow so the spin blow we're going to apply to the wheels so I'll just drag this here so notice your cursor keep changing so when you change to this particular arrow let me zoom you can see this cursor okay so it's telling you that I can actually drag now you can see the cursor so I can drag now okay so if I want to reduce reduce I will just come over here and then we'll do that okay so the reduction it also goes in perspective you can see any perspective you want so it goes in that direction so okay so let's see this good so we can drag this this way and then drag this in slightly so that to cover the entire spoke of the wheels we don't want okay so now let's move this let's make adjustment here okay you can actually drag it so put it in place okay now let's turn up the preview because it's sort of lagging behind so if you're experiencing that same issue you can just turn up your preview then turn it back on okay so you can play around with the angles if a particular angle is not okay for you now you can see that some of the the spoke are visible so that's the reason why we need to drag this up completely okay so you remember to do that so that some part of the spoke will not be out because when the motorcycle is in motion the spoke get to spin okay it's, it doesn't leave any part behind so that's the essence so now we're going to add another one down here so all we need to do is to click okay let me turn off the preview okay I think okay since we're having an issue let me just click on okay for now okay we'll still go back to width so i'm going to double click here as well okay so let's add good so if you have that similar issue please you can just click on okay then come back again i don't know why i'm having that particular problem okay so we're going to drag this we're going to drag this like so okay so i'm going to just drag this up okay so we'll drag this 
to ensure it is in place. Okay, good. Alright, so now that we've done that, you can adjust the angle. Okay, you can still adjust it if that is not okay for you. Okay, if you feel that's much, you can make slight adjustments. Okay, I think that's okay. So, we're going to click on OK. Alright so now you understand that you can see some part of the spokes are out we just go back to adjust that okay so now i'm just going to click around here okay so some of it is out so we're going to cover it so i think that's good enough okay so we can just click on okay for now so i think we are good right so now that we've applied this here so the next thing we're going to do is to reveal the part the handle that is holding the tires i don't know the exact name or what it is so if you know the name you can actually tell me in the comment below this what is what the tire is sitting in between okay so now i'll select this and then we're going to erase some part now that's the beauty of having mask so some of the part that we don't need and that is why it is also non-destructive so we can make adjustment here or we can choose to delete the blur if we don't want it so you can see i'm revealing this part with the help of the overlapping square so it's set to black so remember to set yours to black and now the default to set to black is the is the D key on your keyboard if you press D assuming you have selected uh, another color around here to set it to default just press D you can see okay now to swap in between the white and the black you use the X key the X and D X and D all right so X is to set to default then X is to D is to set to default then X is to swap okay so now that we have it on black we can just remove the blow around here good so we don't need the blow around here we don't need the blow around here as well okay so now we can come back here We're going to erase some part around here. Okay, so that is good. Okay, so now that we've we're able to do that, the next thing is to apply blow on the entire motorcycle. And to do that is equally simple all you need to do just double click on where you have uh, apply your blow this two blow so now we're going to apply the part blow so this pin blow that we've added just open this you can see now we've added the the part blow so you can just drag this this way because the, the motorcycle is going in the up direction okay so we're going to go this way just drag this okay that amount is fine good okay so now that we've we've done that you we can make slight adjustment here as well okay so i'm going to click on okay for now Okay, so with the help of um, the, the the mask, we're going to erase some of the part that we don't need. 
so we've added the blur so let's go back again because there's some things that I think we need to increase the tapper because I don't like what's going on behind the bike man so we're going to increase the tapper slightly to take care of that I'm going to increase it like so it's going to get rid of okay you can see the results now is a bit mild so we're going to click on OK good okay so now that we have that all we need to do is to select and then we're going to erase some part that we feel are not necessary okay so around the back we're going to leave we're not going to add marks to it we'll leave it as it is around here because that's the beauty of a motorcycle or someone that is in motion but for the remaining part we're going to make it visible okay because that is how blow it's um how, that's how blow works so the the guy the motorcycle or the, the the object in motion is usually not blurred but then it's, it still have some blur effect on it we're going to undo this part okay so we're going to have this this way so on the okay let's undo this we're going to go that way this way as well let's undo okay so you can see what we have okay I think this is good enough okay so this is how you can apply the spin and the part blow and you can try other options here you can see that we have other kinds of blow you can try that one out to see the results that you will get okay so see you guys in the next tutorial